Hello beautiful and welcome, welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to review a new product from Fenty Beauty. This just came out yesterday and this is the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightening Illuminator Contour, something like that. And I have mine in Deep Butter 07. I also have the eavesdrop right here to combine the two together and see how that's gonna go. So if you're interested in this video and in this review and how it's gonna act, we are also gonna do a wear test. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. <music> Yesterday I ran to uh, Sephora to grab this and this is supposed to be an under eye brightener that hydrates, brightens and conceals with sheer to global coverage delivering a no makeup makeup effect and long wear formula. It says the coverage is light so I'm not expecting a lot. It says the finish is natural and the formulation is liquid. It says it's free of parabens and Fatalite is vegan, chlorine-free, and cruelty-free. And it says, what else do you need to know? It says that it has a serum-like texture that brightens uh, and blurs with a crease humidity and sweat-resistant formula. It contains jojoba oil to help condition uh, delicate under-eye skin. And while the Hydro Blend Complex full of hydrating ingredients helps attract and hold moisture to the skin. Um, it says that it was in a clinical study and in the study 31 volunteers immediately after using they said 100% agree applies evenly and blends easily. 100% agree that it felt lightweight, smooth and comfortable. 100% agree that it reduces the appearance of fatigue and provide a flawless finish. After 8 hours, 97% agree that under eye area did not feel dry at the end of the day. 90% would recommend Bright Fix Eye Brightening to a friend. Now, here's the thing. This is supposed to be more like a very lightweight type of thing. It's supposed to, you can wear this when you don't want to wear any makeup, but you have a little bit of like under eye, like what I have right now, which is not a lot. Like I'm, I'm lucky I don't have big under eye circles but if you just want something really quick with no other makeup this is the solution for you also supposed to hydrate and make this area don't uh, feel a little bit more moisturized during the day so i got mine like i said in deep butter 07 so i'm gonna try and use this one without putting the foundation first Oh, that's a lot. It feels a little bit cooling when you use this area. Now, how much do we need to put? I have no idea. But I'm going to try to use my fingers because with everything like this, fingers is the way to go. So we'll see the coverage like this. I am going to go with uh, the eavesdrop on top of it, but I just kind of want to see if I would like to just wear it during the day without me doing anything else, which I just want to get out the door, you know, do some, uh, go to the grocery store or something like that. See how that looks. Okay, I think I applied way too much. Okay, well, that's that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty good. I can still my skin through there, so definitely it's lightweight and um, also light coverage. But you don't need a lot. I did apply way too much. Okay, so this will be really nice. I, I, I have to say this will be really nice to just kind of apply it under your eyes if you just want to go somewhere and you're feeling a little bit conscious about your under eyes. But I have to say this definitely is not a, a thing that I usually do. If I want to, if I'm in a 
brush and I want to get somewhere, I really don't want to take the time to put something under my eyes. If I do take the time to do something for my makeup, I'm going to do my whole entire face. That's how I usually am. But now let's go with the e strap on top of it and then see how everything looks together. And I think I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit more on top of the e strap to see how that's going to look like. The e strap, I have it in 11. And I already have a full review on this one. You already know if you've been here before that I really, really like it and that I feel like this is an amazing product for summertime. Alright, so there we go. Now let's try to put a little bit more under the eyes. Now I have to say I, it does feel hydrating under the eyes for right now. Uh, we'll see how long this is going to last. But I'm going to try to apply less because I went like full on last time. I really don't want to do that. And like I said, when you apply this, it feels a little bit cooling. So that feels nice. Like I said, I don't want to do too much for the under eyes. Okay, so on top of the eavesdrop, it works really nice. Now, I have an idea. I, sh I don't know if I should do this or not but i am gonna try it and we'll see how it's gonna go by the end of the night i do want to powder everything down but what i usually do for any concealer or anything brightener i do apply powder to set up on my under eyes um but what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna leave this one open without uh, without trying to or maybe i just gonna apply tiny bit of powder but not bake and on this side, I am going to bake. So let's see. Let's do that. And I'm going to go with Fenty Beauty um, Powder and Banana. M mostly I'm going to use only their product today because I want to see if they're working really nice with each other as well. So I'm going to bake under here. I'm gonna let that bake over there a little bit. I'm gonna take just one of these brushes and just kind of tap it a little bit and then tap mm -hmm. the excess mm -hmm. off. And then I'm gonna just powder just tiny little bit. Just to kind of set just a tiny bit because I do have oily skin so I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave it like that because I know it's just gonna move around a lot. So I'm going to just do that for that side and then I'm going to take what's left from here and set my, um, my face, my ease drop. And that's how it looks right now. I am going to go quickly, um, off camera to finish up my makeup. Um, I'm not going to do a very crazy makeup today something very simple and then i'll come back to show you how everything looks like all right so this is how it looks right now i didn't apply too much uh, makeup on my face i only added very little uh blush and uh bronzer very very little uh some lipstick from uh Wayne Goss and also I got the Wayne Goss in Orchid and also the Wayne Goss lip pencil in Sepia. So that's the combination for my lips. For the eyes, I only use a little bit from the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. And uh, for mascara, I only used a little bit of this mascara from Milk Makeup. 
and this is how it looks so far. So as we know, this is the area where I did powder, I did bake that under my eye, and this is the area where I didn't. So you can clearly see there's a big difference between this. This one right here, it does settles into my lines. So because I have not set it properly, it does settle into my lines. And that happens a lot when I have, I have, uh, that happens a lot when I have liquids that are very creamy and very hydrating. Things like this always happen. So I, as an oily skin and also with a little bit of wrinkles under the eyes, I always need to set my under eyes. But because I only set it a little bit, this is how it looks right now. So that's only like, what, 10 minutes after I applied it, 10, 15. And this is how it looks with... Um, set it down with the powder so i really prefer the one with the powder right now for now let me come close and personal so you can see even better so this is what i'm talking about you see over here it definitely settles into my lines well here it does but it's not as much and here you definitely can see it's a, it looks a little bit more hydrated but i prefer this look a little bit better there you go. I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, so we are back to check in. And I had this on for, uh, how long has it been? Seven? Seven hours. Yes, seven hours. It's uh, getting dark outside. You can see the birds around me. But I'm going to try to come as close as I can so I can show you. I have to say, I've been looking at my under eyes all day today to just kind of see and understand <laughs> if I like this product or if I don't, right? And I have to say, I do like it. Um, it does cover enough. In my opinion, it covers enough. I would not recommend this, of course, if you have like really deep, dark circles because it is it is a uh, very lightweight but i think this is gonna work really nice under a concealer now the way it is right now i didn't have any problems it still looks pretty dang good for both eyes this one it has been a little bit more wrinkly than this other one but it has settled in in my into my fine lines in both in, under the both eyes but this one looked a little bit smoother throughout the day and this one looked a little bit more um, wrinkly, you know. $25 for it. I would say it's a little much for $25. Um, maybe I would say if this will be around $20 will be even more worth it. Um, for what it is, uh, brightening, it is pretty amazing as a concealer too. So as you can see... This one was the one that I powdered. This one was the one that I didn't powder. So it kind of settled between into my lines in both both areas. But this one looks a little bit more rough. But other than that, this is an amazing product. Totally recommend it. I like it. And I enjoy it. So let me know if you're going to grab this or not. If you're interested in it or not. Alright, I'll see you all next time.